welcome back to Ultimate Exotics. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at a special ball python morph known as the banana ball python morph. Um, it is probably one of the most popular and in my personal opinion, most beautiful uh, morphs in the ball python hobby. And uh, so in this video today, we're going to discuss or uh, we'll teach you a little bit of, uh, more about this morph. We're going to have a look at everything it has to offer. And then we're going to have a look at some incredible uh, mind-blowing uh, banana ball python uh, morph combinations and uh, yeah hopefully um, by the end of this video you can have a better understanding of this morph and you can also um, just realize how special it is and what a beautiful morph it is so let's start off by going and having uh, a quick uh, look at some of the ball path uh, the banana ball pythons and then uh, we'll have a look at some of their combos okay so here we have one of our amazing banana morph ball pythons and as you can see they're just such an incredible morph of the ball python now before we go and have a look uh, we'll take a closer look at these banana ball pythons and uh, some of the uh, beautiful morph combinations with the banana gene um, I just want to um, run through this morph a little bit so you can have a better understanding of it so the banana um, it originated I'm not too sure how long ago but many years ago um, the first one was found and then a little bit later, another one was found. And it was from uh, two separate um, people found uh, this morph in the beginning. And one referred to it as a banana and the other a coral glow. And because they vary so much, they thought possibly they have two different genes. But over time and with breeding, they discovered that it was exactly the same gene. So the coral glow and the banana gene is the same thing. Um, so in this video, I'm just going to refer to it as a banana gene. Um, so... Once they found the morph, they then had to try and breed it to figure out what it was. Is it a dominant morph? Is it a co-dominant morph? Or is it a recessive morph? And um, from the first breeding, um, they figured out that it was a dominant morph. And what that means is that if you breed a banana to a normal, 50% um, of the babies will come out banana straight away. Similar, similar to what we see, or exactly the same like we see with the pastel G. And then after that, they needed to, so that they figured out, okay, it's definitely a dominant gene. So then they had to figure out, is it also a co-dominant gene? And um, that with a co-dominant gene, it means that there is a super form. And they did prove that they, you can get a super banana. The only thing with the super banana, in my opinion, it doesn't look as good um, as it is a little bit, uh, it's quite dull compared to the straight banana. So... In my personal opinion, I, I prefer just the normal banana and not the super variety. So because there's a super, it means that it is a co-dominant morph. Um, and then another aspect about it, which is just incredible, is that these bananas, they have these little melanistic black spots all over their scales, which they develop as they grow. Most of the time, um, in fact, I think all of the time, they are born or they hatch out and they don't have any of these black dots. But as they shed and grow, these black spots start coming. Um, on their scale so it's like these little melanistic spots and the first guys that um, came across these bananas as they saw them they thought oh gosh the snake is full of mites as you can imagine you're seeing a snake full of black spots the first thing that you think is mites but it's actually just these melanistic dots that develop with the banana as they grow just like you would see with a ripening banana so that's what the name suits it perfectly along with the beautiful yellows and purple colors that they have now, another amazing thing is um, with this gene is that it is also a sex link uh, morph. And what that means is that um, male banana ball pythons um, that come from a father who was a male will pre predominantly produce male um, banana ball pythons. So for an example, if this male, if he breeds with a, when he breeds with a female, his, his babies will almost all be males. Um, and then you get the rare occasion where you might get a female, which is, yeah, it's, the odds are, are great though. So it is a rare occasion. Then if you have a female banana ball python now, and, he, and she um, has, has babies and um, she produces a male, he will be, be a female maker. So he, that little boy that came from the female will then predominantly produce females. So that's quite incredible. Um, and it's another amazing aspect of this morph. So now I think it's time that we have a look um, at more of these beautiful banana ball pythons that we have here at the facility. Um, and we have some incredible combinations with this gene and we can have a closer look 
at this at this beautiful banana morph. Okay, so here we have a standard banana morph ball python, and what is special about this one is this one was uh, came from a male maker, and um, it hatched out as a female. And like we were saying, the females are really rare, and out of all the ball pythons that we breed every year, we do sometimes get one female out of um, our one male maker. So she's really special, and you can just see how beautiful she is. And um, what you can see now that she's about two years old, you can see those um, speckles or those black dots all over her. Um, these like melanistic spots, which are really incredible. And like I was saying, it does look like mites and it also has that effect like a ripening banana. Look at that speck on her head, it's quite incredible. And they do vary uh, greatly, the banana morph. Uh, they vary as much as the normals vary. Um, so some have less speckling, some have more. Um, but they just, it's such a beautiful mutation. She is just amazing. So now we're going to have a look at some of these uh, banana morph combos. Okay, so here we have some hatchlings that we bred out this last season. And just look how incredible these banana combos are. They are just so beautiful. Um, so what we have here, this baby over there. Um, that is a spinner blast um, a banana. So that is a spider pinstripe banana. So it's a three gene animal, just absolutely beautiful. We then have a calico banana. You can see the white on the sides, the increased white on the sides, and that is the effect of the calico morph, which is a dominant morph. And then over here we have a spider banana, just a straight spider banana. And over here we have a spider Mojave banana. Um, so you can just see how incredible these banana combos are and they can just uh, they have so much the morph banana morph has so much potential in just making these incredible looking uh, ball pythons and this is why we love working with this gene so much and this is only just a few examples of combinations um, that you can do with the banana these little guys are just so beautiful we're very happy with these babies. Okay, lastly, we're having a look at a banana clown combination. This is just another beautiful combo. And what this is, um, is a banana morph combined with a recessive clown mutation. Um, so it just shows that this banana morph can also combine really well with recessive mutations in ball pythons. And this guy's in the blue now, which means that he is delved out and he's gonna be shedding soon. Um, but I just wanted to show you just so you can see an example of how absolutely beautiful this combination is. And after he sheds, um, it's going to, he's going to even be brighter and look more impressive. So that is a banana clown ball python. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you managed to learn something uh, more about these beautiful uh, banana ball pythons. It is such an incred incredible morph. And um, I think it has so much potential. And um, it really, I think, has helped um, boost the ball pythons and the popularity of ball pythons um, as a whole. So, yeah, um, I hope you liked see, seeing some of those beautiful combos. And, um, yeah, in the future, we'll have, definitely do some more videos on this morph. Um, but, yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. Um, please don't forget to hit that like button. Um, leave a comment below. And most importantly, please don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Keep well. Cheers.